if you are a native instruments user there's a very good chance there are around 117 synthesizers umpteen effects and multi-effects on your hard drive that you don't even know about i will show you where they are how to find them and how to use them at this point i feel as if i should be playing a flashy intro with exciting music but i don't have one uh -oh. so let's just jump straight into it so the synths and effects in question run in reactor this is native instruments diy synth construction kit it's an incredibly powerful system for creating your own audio instruments and effects but you don't have to make your own there are dozens and dozens and dozens probably hundreds of synths and samplers and effects and drum machines and groove boxes and all sorts of stuff which you can just run in reactor now i think you need the full version of reactor to get the reactor factory library but if you have and you haven't discovered these yet you could be in for a treat the files in question are hidden in a zipped file in the reactor factory library i've been using reactor since version 5 and i only discovered these files a few weeks ago so this zipped file is apparently downloaded automatically along with the factory library however being a zip file the instruments inside do not show up when you scroll through the menu in reactor there are over a thousand files in these folders and doing a few rough sums and calculations i reckon there are around 117 synths give or take so let's see where to find these files so this is native access this is the new version it has a few more bells and whistles than the older one you can list the products by those you have installed and also by the ones you have not installed which is very handy you can see i've got quite a few i have not installed and you can also sort them by instrument and so on using these categories so what you want to do is select the installed option and then reactor and these are all the reactor and reactor associated products and what you are looking for is the factory library and there are a few it depends i'm not sure if you get all these with reactor or not i suspect you probably do uh, but there are two factory libraries one's a main factory library and the other one is factory library r2 now if you have set a default download location folder then they should all be in the same place and you will know where they are but if you want to check if you click on these little dots here and then select installation path it will tell you where the library is installed so i have got a separate hard drive for all these libraries i do not want these on my main c drive so i have an ni content folder on my d drive so that's where i need to go yours will almost certainly not be ni content at least not on your d drive although it might be so we'll find out the directory that the factory library is installed in so this is my ni content folder and it lists as you can see all the instrument contents from the native instruments instruments that i have installed so what you need to do is to scroll down to the reactor factory library and open it of course and here you will see the contents of the factory library neatly arranged into folders and you will notice an interesting addition here it is legacy library.zip and this is where the additional files are hidden if you like so you need to unzip it i've already done that as you can see so go to the folder and you will see there are three additional folders inside it and these are instruments and files from previous versions of reactor from version 3 version 4 and version 5 so you can open these folders and have a look and see what's inside it and use them with reactor now as there are over a thousand files here it might take you a while to sort through them but i think the most interesting folder is number four it has some really interesting synths in it it has many files arranged into ensembles instruments macros and some tutorial files as well 
And if we have a look at the ensembles, so you can see that the files are arranged into various categories. There are effects and samplers and synths and sequence synths. If we open this one, you can see what's available here. And if we go to the synth folder, there's a lot of synths here you can look at. So let, let's just look at one or two. If you are enjoying this video so far and like synths and synthesizers and electronic music, then perhaps you'd like to consider hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell so you get informed of new videos as soon as I release them. End of advert. This is the green matrix. Sounds quite nice. And you can open these and edit these just as you would with any other instrument or ensemble in Reactor. Nice! Got a lovely stereo effect already. This is bouncing around, it's really nice. Anyway, this to give you an example of some of the instruments. They are some really good quality synthesizers and effects and other instruments and files in this legacy folder. This one is from the sequenced synths folder. <laughs> Let's try one more. This is another one from the sequenced synths folder. That's interesting. Nice stereo effects bouncing around there. So anyway, this is just to give you an example of what's available. As I say, there were over a hundred synthesizers by my reckoning. Dozens and dozens and dozens of effects and all sorts of other files. If you are a reactor user and you create your own or modify your own creations, then these will be very useful. So if these files were a surprise to you, they were certainly a surprise to me, even after using Reactor for years. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. Reactor, I think, is often seen by many musicians as being a bit techy, but you do not have to create your own synths. You can simply load pre-existing ones and use them like you would any other synthesizer. In that regard, I think it is a little bit underrated. Perhaps I should have included Reactor in my top five favourite synths in Complete 14. If you'd like to know what they are, check out this video. If you're still unsure whether or not to upgrade to Complete 14 or indeed to buy into the Complete ecosystem, check out this video too. As always, thank you very much indeed for watching. I will see you again soon.